It was a very early morning, in November of 1998, and I just had my tonsils out. I was on a lot of pain medicine. It was my first night back in the dorm. And McIntyre's, I want you to key in on this so you know Rusty's character. Okay. There was a fire in the dorm. Anybody know about this? Yes. Okay, there was a fire in the dorm. Fire alarms did not go off. Right. Somebody came up to the fourth floor that was full of smoke and knocked on our door to wake us up. And that was this guy right here. And I crawled down the hallway hearing wet sponges hit the ground. It was the lights melting out of the ceiling and falling around me, okay? And when I made it to the stairwell, I, I got lost and got in a fight with a trash can. <laughs> and at that point, and I lost. <laughs> and at that point, um, I decided to leave my reference point on the wall and try to find the stairwell. And at that point, I, I, the last thing I remember as I was passing out was a fire alarm going off. While I was laying there, I heard the backdraft of the third floor. Rusty was still up there. I'm getting there. I get dragged out. Broke two bones in my foot, got kicked in the face, it was great. <laughs> I end up outside, now it's, it's November, it's cold, I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, in the dew, I'm laying there in the grass trying to breathe, and I look up at the fourth floor window with the smoke billowing out, and the next thing I see is Rusty's head craning out of the window on the opposite side of where he had woken us up. This guy came up to the fourth floor and woke up a bunch of sleeping people so that 20 years later I can stand before you and I can say thank you. Seven months later I got to see Caleb born. That's my son. I got to see him graduate high school. He's now a freshman in college. And November 2nd of this year will be 20 years that you gave me. So if you ever have any questions about the character of Rusty, I want you to know he is cut from the same cloth as his father. And this man saved my life. And I thank you for the opportunity tonight to publicly say thank you to Rusty. And I want you to know, you are a very, very lucky woman. Because I know if he would save my ugly ass, he would definitely help you. So, a toast to Rusty. I love you, brother. I forgot to mention that, sorry guys. I forgot to mention these guys here were also in the dorm, and... Once you woke us up. <laughs> hey, there's a song in that dorm. <laughs> Thanks, Rusty. Yeah. Woo! Woo! And now we would like to welcome to the microphone our father of the bride.